Number 1. Park Floral de la Source Welcoming more visitors than any other attraction in the department, the Park Floral de la Source is a semi-wild park next to the university, where Orléans meets the countryside. Indeed, you can see how the terrain changes here. The flat river plain and the source of the Loire host the park's beautiful flower gardens kitchen garden, butterfly house and aviaries. Number 2. Orléans Cathedral Taking in the solemn cathedral on Place Saint-Croix can be difficult to picture the destruction that this massive landmark suffered in the past. The Huguenots did a good job of raising it to the ground during the French Wars of Religion in the 16th century. Number 3. Musée des Beaux-Arts If you're the kind of person who likes to go slow and meditate over art a whole morning or afternoon may not be enough to see all of this capacious art museum. There are many thousands of works, only 700 of which are permanently hanging, including France's second largest collection of pastels behind the Louvre. Number 4. Place du Martroy Apart from the Ligne tramline that still crosses the square, Place du Martroy has been completely pedestrianized in the last few years. What hits your gaze right away is the imposing statue of Joan of Arc on horseback, created in 1855 by Denis Foyer, atop a large marble pedestal with reliefs from the siege in 1429. On the east side is a fun fountain with jets coming straight through the paving, and there's also an old-fashioned carousel for kids here in summer. Number 5. Hotel Grasslot. Orleans' former city hall started out as a mansion built in the mid-1500s for the city's bailiff shop Grasslot. Over the next few decades it hosted some of the period's most important people, not least the young King Francois II, who died in what is now the Wedding Hall in 1560. Other personalities to have stayed at Hotel Grosslot are Mary Queen of Scots, Francois' young wife, Catherine de' Medici, his mother, and the later kings Henri III and Henri IV. Number 6. Historic Center Orleans Old Town is unexpectedly large and ranges far outside the pedestrianized zone in the middle. Not all of the buildings are historic, but that only makes you value the beautiful half-timbered houses and Renaissance palaces even more. To get to grips with the size of the old quarter you could enter Orléans as Joan of Arc did in 1429, along Rue de Bourgogne, a convivial street of restaurants and bars running east to west, starting several hundred meters from the center. Number 7. Musée Historique et Archéologique In the 15th century Hotel Cabo, one of Orleans' many beautiful old mansions, there's a small but interesting array of artifacts from around Loire. The Gallo-Roman treasure of Nuvi and Celia's is possibly the most intriguing thing here. It's a cache of 32,000-year-old bronze statuettes recovered from a sand quarry in the 19th century. Number 8. Ile Charlemagne there's nature, sport and relaxation just a few moments from the center of Orléans, a 70-hectare park and lake complex on a large river island in the Loire. For respite from the heat in summer you can laze on the two beaches, and you're free to go for swim in the massive 28-hectare lake cool-off. Number 9. Collegiale saint Amen. Forever in a state of half-completion, the fragmented church of saint Amen tells you more about Orléans' fraught history than a finished monument. Being close to the Loire and in a suburb of the city, it was pulled down twice during the 100 Years' War to prevent the English forces turning it into a bastion. Number 10. Loire à Velo. The Loire in this region of France is one long cycle trail and every measure has been taken to ensure that your ride is as hassle-free as possible. Orléans is near the eastern limit of the Loire Valley, and if you were so inclined you could ride all 314 kilometers to St. Nazaire on the coast, and never lack for stations to service your bike and cycle friendly places to stay overnight, Aqua Velo. These establishments even devise special breakfasts for riders. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.